Good morning, friends. Thank you for joining me today. I'm getting ready to prepare tonight's dinner. I'm fixing enchiladas that are filled with cabbage. And the first thing we need is the cabbage. I'm not sure how much I'm going to need, so I have a half head of cabbage here and a small head over here. And then I'm going to finally slice the cabbage. We make a lot of cabbage dishes on this channel, but cabbage is very healthy, at least for me, and that's why I use it frequently. I think the half head of cabbage will be plenty. To help the cabbage to have a pleasant texture when it cooks, I'm going to lightly salt the cabbage and then massage it until my fingers feel wet. So I want some of the juice to come out of the cabbage. This is the same technique I use when I make the cabbage casserole, which now has, I think, 200,000 views. Thank you for that. This is the first time I've tried using cabbage as a filling for enchiladas. The cabbage is definitely softening up now. And my fingers are definitely wet. So we're going to set this aside for about 15 minutes. I need to prep some cilantro. So this is one bunch of cilantro. And I'm just going to coarsely chop it. I'm using canned refried beans just to save some time. Yeah, so these enchiladas will be filled with refried beans, cabbage, queso, in this case cheddar cheese, and probably enchilada sauce. To make the refried beans easy to spread, I'm actually going to blend them with, with some seasonings in my Vitamix. To the refried beans, I am adding garlic powder, chili powder, and cumin. I'm going to see how this blends, and then I will determine if I need to add some water. I definitely need to add water. I think more, let's see. Ooh, it's pretty smooth. So I added, what, two tablespoons of water? And this is very smooth now. I have to taste this. Almost looks like peanut butter. Oh, it's very nice, especially with the cumin. Here's my enchilada sauce. I bought the economy size can because that's all my supermarket had. I'm going to make some enchiladas in this little dish that I will have for dinner tonight. And then I'm going to put even more enchiladas in this larger baking dish that I will bake and then freeze for a future meal. So I'm adding some enchilada sauce each baking dish. I was very surprised to find tremendous varieties of tortillas at my local supermarket. I have these Mission gluten-free tortillas. I also found these high-fiber Keto certified tortillas. These have only four grams of carbs. I also found zero carb tortillas, but I think these are really too small for filling and then rolling. I'm going to assemble the enchiladas now. So I have some refried beans. I'm using an offset spatula and I'm spreading the refried beans all the way to the edge of the tortilla. 
This is my first time making enchiladas that are stuffed with cabbage. But I think it's going to work out. Cabbage. Queso. And cilantro. And then just roll. When you put the tortillas in the dish, make sure you place them seam side down. I think a spoon works even better for spreading the refried beans. These enchiladas are certainly easy to make. So this is the batch that we will have for dinner tonight. I am covering the filled tortillas with enchilada sauce. Cheese. After these bake, I will garnish them with the leftover cilantro. Give it a nice, fresh green finish. I'm not ready for dinner yet, so I'm going to cover these baking dishes and pop the enchiladas into the refrigerator. And between now and dinner, I'm going to try to find some zinnia seedlings. I neglected to plant zinnias in my garden this summer, and I really miss having them. So we're going to make a quick trip to the berry farm and hopefully they will have zinnia seedlings. This is my lucky day. I found zinnia seedlings and some surplus bell pepper plants to add to my pepper collection. Hold on tight. I can smell the shore. It's right in front of us if we just hold on tight. This vision that I saw is getting closer every dawn. We are home. There is a big storm coming, so I'm going to try to plant as many of these zinnias and peppers as possible before the rain comes. And I'm going to put the enchiladas in the oven. So my oven has preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. Bake the enchiladas until the cheese melts and the sauce bubbles about 30 minutes. I am digging in some organic fertilizer for the bell peppers. I am planting these miniature zinnias in the kitchen garden.
oven was dinging as soon as we came in from planting the zinnias. So let's have a look at the enchiladas. These look gorgeous. I cannot wait to taste of one. I'm going to prepare the plates and then I'll come right back. We're going to eat our dinner upstairs in an air-conditioned room, but I did want to have a taste of the enchilada for you. So a tortilla, plus doctored up refried beans, plus cabbage, plus queso, in this case cheddar cheese, and cilantro, and enchilada sauce all work wonderfully together. So I have two more enchiladas, which we will no doubt come back downstairs to grab. And then I have this whole dish of enchiladas, which again, I will let cool to room temperature, and I will cover it and pop it into the freezer for a future meal. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate your company. In fact, I appreciate your company more than you could possibly know. Take good care of yourself, and I will see you in the next video. Chin chin, and adios.